creepers, I have something to tell you. Spell of Firebolt! Hey everyone, it's Gabe, or start to face, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. This time we'll be looking at the new mod called Spellbound, which allows you to have spells in your game. So, before we do this, I have to say that this mod isn't a WIP form, I don't know what it means, but it means that, um, the mod isn't complete, it's in, like, extreme beta, so it is downloadable, I will put it in the, in the description below, as long as, as well as the author of the mod, which you should go thank. So, I'm doing this mod review just to encourage you to download it so that it will be more developed and it will be more awesome because I see this mod as potential. So anyway, let's move on. So with that, in your world when you install this mod, you will find this type of ore. Now I know it looks like emerald ore, as, you, as I said, it's an early beta, but it will be changed. So let's go into our survival mode, open up into survival mode. And when you do mine this, you actually need to have a... I think any eye on so we will tell you which one but it's a random chance either will you'll get mana or something but that's it so when you do mine it it will give you mana crystals as you can see see these nice mana crystals so there you go oh shoot I forgot about that I'm sorry I forgot it. hold on god damn it creepers you just made a mess uh, gonna take you you always have to delay my Damn on reviews. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't think that through, so let's just go back, get this block, fix that. Okay. And then we'll just get a fence and we'll just spawn some creepers in later. So just do that. Okay, so anyway, why are you oh yeah. Oh hi Leviathan, how are you doing? So should put you back there. Don't don't wander off. Let me just get a lead for you. Ah. Always have to delay this so okay so anyway you will get your mana crystals and with your mana crystals you can craft these items so you'll need a blank ruin which needs stone which needs a furnace which needs coal so let's get some stone just to see the true crafting form so with that we we'll get this blank ruin and so you craft it so it's one mana crystal in the middle with stone in this form so basically it's like this and then um it's like this i believe there you go so there you go you get five blank runes with i think four plus the one we got so with our blank runes you can get an sort of items with them so you can either have four three runes they call them runes so first we have the earth rune the water rune and the fire rune the earth rune is the easiest because it just requires two runes and a dirt but sadly the earth rune doesn't do anything at the moment so like the runes are used to craft spells which the earth there's no earth spell so yeah that's the earth rune next we have the water rune which requires two runes and a water bucket which requires iron and next we have the fire rune which is the most expensive because it requires blaze powder which requires obsidian diamond and to go with another so you can't have this you have to have this before you have this so Let's say, what do you do with these runes? So, now we have spells, which you saw in the first part of the video. Why is it dark? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm in caps lock. Dash time set zero. I just put a fence right there, get me a nice creeper. And as you can see, when you go into survival mode, right there, it wants to get me, and then with this fire bolt, you simply craft the bolts using the two runes. You need actually two of them plus a spell parchment, which is quite easy to craft. So these aren't cheap. That's just one thing I want to put out there. So when you fire it, oh, I need mana. Oh, I forgot. I need mana. I need. Oh, wait. What? I didn't know that before. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to creative. I think it works. I just don't know how to work it. So let's go to creative just for the demonstration purpose. And when you fire it, it sets it on fire. And it will spread. So that's what the fire one does. Let's just see it again. If you want to see it like that, as you can see, it's basically like a fire uh, flame one bow. And no, 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 forest, no, 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 forest fires, please, please, please. I don't like those. I don't like that. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Ah. 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 My goodness, you have to wreck the trees. 
This one is quite dangerous. Let's just, let's just improv on the tree. Okay, that was a tree. I'm sorry. That there, it looks, it looks pretty. There you go. Okay, I just cover that up. Okay, that's our nice big fat tree. And we'll just put some there. Okay, so that's what it does. It's really dangerous if you don't, you don't, don't do it around your survival house if you do manage to know how to do it in survival, because it will just set everything on fire except for the stone. So next we have the water breathing one which is quite obvious gives you water breathing so when we go to survival mode and we go under the water we can see that the bubbles they don't disappear because you have water water breathing so it's really cool and i think you can only use this this has durability so it will just lock up to a certain durability so that's basically water breathing just keep having all this and you'll have water breathing so that is basically what the mod has to offer at first. I know it's really short for a mod. Oh, and I'm sorry. These creepers, man. So that is basically, yeah, what it has to offer. I really hope you did enjoy this short mod review. I will link it to the description so you can download it and try it for yourself because you won't regret it. It's a really cool mod. Also, if it is your first time looking at my channel, don't forget to subscribe to see more mod reviews such as this. And don't forget to leave a like if you are using the mod right now and watching this, or you just had some fun watching it. So, I hope you really do enjoy, and Leviathus and I say goodbye!